Today I'm with Jeremy Wiggins. We're out on a job site where he just installed this amazing walkway that's behind us. It's one of the most popular walkways. You're going to get a lot more requests after this, I guarantee you, for this okay. walkway. That'd be great. <laughs> but we want to show you how to plant this little monkey grass between all the cracks of the sidewalk. And Jeremy's going to show us how to do it. You ready to show us? Let's show it. All right, let's squat down here. And so how big are these gaps here? These right here, they actually was a two by four, and I put a, about another half inch on the other side of each of um, foam do that, board. Do that calculation for us, Jeremy. What's that? No, I don't know, like three and a half inches? Three, yes, three and a half three inches. Three inches. <laughs> okay. I was giving you in detail. I was getting way too detailed. All right, so um, let's see the monkey grass. So they come in plugs. They come in plugs just like this. This is dwarf mondo. Uh -huh. It's uh, really tolerant for around the concrete area and really easy to um, space out. We're going to do them about every three inches okay. to be exact. And you just take it out here. I've already placed some dirt in here. Grab one for me. I want to do it with you. There you go. <laughs> oh shoot, you were much more neat about it than I was. There we go. All right, so you're putting one in each corner? Yes, it'll okay. be one here, this corner, okay. and we want it to all be symmetrical. I like that. Everything. You know I love symmetry. All right, so we'll put one in each corner. Yes. Okay. Then we come right here about like that there, about right, and we're going to take another one. Okay. And of course, if we don't have enough dirt here, I have more in the back and we'll put it fill in, in. And, and fill in right there. Now, do you put mulch? In between when you're I've finished. got dirt in the bottom, then I have some mulch here we'll come back and clean it up with okay. and put it in there and then we'll broom it, make it look real neat. Okay. But I'd rather have a good foundation of um, topsoil mm -hmm. in there first mm -hmm. and then we can come back with some um, some pot and soil. Okay. And then th we're in a real shady condition right now mm -hmm. and you were saying that these can um, do well between pieces of concrete, but um, can they also be okay in the sun? They probably need a little more water if they're in the sun. That's correct. Okay. But no, these are actually good. I've, I've planted them in all environments okay. and I've never had a problem. Okay. You know, to be exact about these, what I think people need to think about is high traffic area. Mm -hmm. You know, are we using this, um, you know, to, is this, is this what we, were the place that we wanted at? I mean, you know, of course kids aren't going to be able to ride skateboards or scooters down right. it, but it also adds a great landscape. Um, just the visual of it. Visual and of these it. will eventually grow together. That's correct. So hopefully the idea is that we have this solid grouping and that's that these right. will each spread into each other that's and right. then fill that gap up. That's correct. So um, I guess let's finish that up and um, and then they'll have this really pretty walkway. I think the homeowners are really excited about it. So I do too. Um, hopefully you guys are learning something uh, in how to plant your own. If you have any questions, you can always comment below and we'll bring Jeremy back to answer those questions if you have any of those too. <laughs>